Good evening and welcome to the wrestling extravaganza. We are here again at Bingo Bills. Dr. Mike Nichols along with the Flying Dutchman, Ron Young, and the ever-present Steve Lyons only. Now, did you get married uh, and this is your third name? <laughs> But anyway, we're here tonight for professional wrestling, presented to you by the MEW. And let me tell you, gentlemen, so far, we have quite a card coming up tonight. Tell us more. That's true. Heading us off this evening in the ring is the MEWF light heavyweight champion, Mark Schrader. The shark, the shooter, whatever you want to call him, he's pure excitement. He's heading off against a relative newcomer to the MEWF, Adam Flash. I've had a chance to see him in the recent past. He's got a lot of fast moves, high-flying acrobatics. It should be a, an, exciting, an exciting match. The question is, will Adam be just a flash of his hand, or will he go on? to be one of the top contenders in the MEWF. Well, the light heavyweight division has been stacking up pretty fierce in the comp uh, competition, so it wouldn't surprise me that he's not a flash in the a pan, and he'll be around for a long time to come. What do you think, Steve? Well, that remains to be seen, Dutch. As we check the action in the ring, now the Tilton McCall and Elbow tie-up. Schrader's got flash in the side headlock. Puts him across to the far side. Shoulder block. Down. Two quick moves. He picks him up. Big body slam into the center of the ring, Dutch. Beautiful drop kick applied. Now you see Mike Nichols, where he gets the name Flash, displaying the speed early in the match. Ouch! That had to hurt. Adam Flash perks on the outside of the ring. He's measuring Schrader up from the back. Oh. Wheels him right over onto the concrete floor. Ice is heading for higher ground. Oh. Chopping his man down and sending him back into the ring. That's gonna sting. It's been all Adam Smash at this point. Certainly is. Spinning wheel kick drives him to the mat. A quick two. As much pain as Mark the Shark Schrader's enduring so far, he may be the one smashed in this ring here tonight. Beautiful suplex. Thought he was going to turn it into a brain buster there, Steve. Another quick leg drop. Only a count of two. Mark Schrader kicks out. It seems early in the match he spent a little bit too much time posing for the fans than he did trying to wrestle in the ring. Speaking about posing for the fans, ISIS is certainly doing that, but nevertheless, taking into consideration the gentleman that is in the ring right now getting his butt kicked. I don't think she has as much information on Adam Flash as she should to properly train Schrader for this kind of match. Obviously, Adam Flash knows what the situation is. He's ready for a, the title competition, and he's taking it to the champion. Oh! Driving Ouch. his head into the turnbuckle. The wrestling extravaganza taking you inside the ring. Look at the pain oh. on Adam Smash's face. Mark Schrader sets him up. Irish rips him back into the corner. Spinning wheel kick drives him back into the corner once again. It looks like the champion's finally starting to take control, Steve. Well, he's got a, big, a couple of big punishing holds here now on Adam Flash. It looks like he's going to try to work him, slow the pace of the match down, and work it in his own method. And that's a little surprising for the light heavyweights to slow the, the pace down a bit. But it seems to be a game plan that's working. <clears throat> It gives Mark Schrader a chance to rest, regain his composure a little bit, get a breather, and still put the work on Adam Flash. Not, this, only, not only that, it takes the momentum away from Flash that he had been building up through the first part of the match. I Powers him over. I, I'm sorry, I personally think that Mark the Shark Schrader should be taking full advantage of the defensive posture that, that he now has. Uh, I think Adam Smash is very vulnerable, especially now. This may be a game plan that Isis is trying to employ. In any title match, you have to beat the champion. Schrader doesn't have to prove anything. He just has to last the duration of the match. No question in my mind. Two, two very, very, very excellent contenders in the MEWF. Absolutely. High backdrop, good elevation. Flash starting to follow up now. A series of punches and kicks. Backing the champion back into the corner. 
Referee asking him to pull him out. Shoots him back into the corner. Looks like we'll see a monkey flip. Shoots him back out to the center of the ring. Incredible! Flash is wrestling this match very intelligently, keeping him away from Isis so she can't interfere. Snap mares him back out of the corner. Now climbing to the inside of the ropes. Snaps the neck over. Excellent setup move by Adam Flash. Some of the other uh, uh, people in the MWF that Mark the Shark Schrader has been feuding with are such as the one and only Chad Austin and Shane Shamrock. That's right, we haven't seen Shane Shamrock in the recent past, but Chad Austin has been wrestling up and down the coast, and I've had a chance to talk with him, and he's vowed to get his title back. Adam Flash up at the top rope now. We've seen this before. I he missed off the top. Nobody home. home. Looks like Schrader's a little... Ah, uh, showing his intelligence. I'll tell you there, Flying Dutchman, <clears throat> Mark the Shark is surprisingly strong for a high flyer. Absolutely. Most of the high flyers tend to play only the air attack. Schrader can mix it up, and it keeps his opponents off guard. Both men look like they're beginning to tire here. I think, I think Mark the Shark's got to get down on the mat and keep Adam Flash on the mat to take away those high aerial attacks. I couldn't agree more. I could be a chance for the butterfly starting to set in for Adam Flash, thrown into the MEWF, has a title shot. The title's well within his grasp if he can stay on top of his man. I wonder, though, if Mark the Shark can really honestly perform without having to cheat, because I know that he would rather cheat than gain an honest advantage. Well, this is an honest advantage right here, Cradle Suplex. And yes. it's a three count. Cradle will retain the title, narrowly escaping the challenge of Adam Flash. Cradle Suplex.